Howdy, I'm Isaac with Merchant Cycles. You may have heard of the terms clutch and non-clutch derailleurs, and what does that even mean? Uh, and how does that affect your cycling experience on the bike? Let's find out. First, let's talk about a clutched derailleur. Benefits of a clutch derailleur is most noticeable off-road. It reduces the chance of your chain falling off, and it helps with bumpy and rocky terrain, and it ensures a smooth, reliable shifting. Inside a clutch derailleur, there is a friction device, often a clutch or roller clutch mechanism, that applies tension to the derailleur cage that keeps the chain taut and minimize movement. Now let's look at a non-clutch derailleur. This is a non-clutch derailleur. A non-clutch derailleur does not have the clutch mechanism in it and is kept tension with a spring inside. Uh, this can cause more chain slap and chain drops on rougher terrain. Still works great. This is like your traditional derailleur, comes on a lot of bikes, but it's not as good on like trails or gravel. Your choice of non-clutch and clutch derailleurs is kind of depending on what your riding style is. If you're a mountain biker or gravel rider riding really rough terrain, a clutch derailleur is the way to go. But if you're riding not as aggressive train or around the city, a non-clutch derailleur will be phenomenal for you. So it all depends on what train you're riding and kind of even what bike you're riding. I hope this video has helped you out with the terms clutched and non-clutched derailleurs. Uh, if you do have any more questions, come down to the shop at 716 Commercial Street in Port Kansas. We'll for sure answer any more questions you have. Have a wonderful day.